What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be reviewing a 10-inch single bevel compound miter saw. It's the one right here in this picture next to me. Like I said, I don't get paid for these reviews. I just do them because I like doing them. Um, also, it gives everybody a little bit of insight. It's my personal opinion on the tools. It's tools that I use quite a bit. And I would go as far as a lot of, I would go as far as to say, as I use a lot of these tools almost weekly. But this, uh, this compound miter saw, it, uh, comes with, or no, the blade does not come with it and neither does it stand. But mine, I literally just set it in the back of my truck or on the tailgate of my truck. And that's how I use mine. Um, but, uh, you can get a blade for 10 to $15. The blades aren't that hard to change. I would read the instructions because there's a lot of ways you can mess this thing up. Pretty much you can mess the guard up if you take the wrong thing off. Uh, but for $130, you get it with a coup or you go in there with a the coupon, save a little bit of money. I would, I think I'll, I want to say I got mine on sale around Christmas or maybe Thanksgiving. It was about a hundred bucks, but I've had mine for like two or three years. It's definitely worth the money. Um, the only complaint I have is, uh, the 10 inch single bevel blade. You can only cut so many pieces, or you can only cut a piece of wood that is so big or so thick with it. So if I could go back and redo it, I would buy the 12 inch compound miter sliding saw because you can cut a lot, pe a lot bigger wood with it. Um, but I use mine for, uh, I've used mine to cut wood for framing walls, like two by fours, two by sixes. And, uh, I cut all my trim inside my house with it. I cope, I cope all the corners of my trim, so uh, I can just cut them at 45s. Uh, yeah, but this compound miter, I would say it's definitely worth the money. But like I said, if I could redo it, I would say go back, buy that compound miter, the sliding compound miter. You just get a lot more bang for your buck with that. Um, also, uh, if I could say one last thing, make sure you don't forget the blade and make sure you watch a video on YouTube or... Uh, Read the instruction on how to change that blade because I took the guard off and it was a bitch to get back on. Anyways, I'm out. That's 10,000 views right there.